Hi everyone, here's uh, my take on the ubiquitous 72 by 2 inch belt grinder. Except this isn't 72 inch, we can't get those belts easily here in Australia, so this one's actually uh, using a 1550mm belt, which is about 61 and something inches. Um, most of it's made from some scrap I had lying around, the square section tubing, uh, some plate steel that I bought. Uh, it's got 6mm or quarter inch U-channel for most of the chassis and the drive system is taken from an old manual um, treadmill, manual speed control treadmill which is that thing there. That uh, little handle you see is uh, connected to a cable. The motor itself pivots on a pin and as you tighten the cable, it pulls the um, pulls the motor up and brings it back down, which on the treadmill had a variable um, pulley. I tried it; it was just caused too much vibration. It wasn't very good, but this is a very handy way of tightening and untightening the belt. Um, and I'll end up, end up putting in a second uh, or a two-stage pulley at some point so that I can um, change the speed. But it's it's really convenient to use basically all you do is turn that handle and it moves the motor, it's great so this is how it all works I basically use as much of the treadmill uh, um, hardware as I could, all I had to do was reconfigure it. I shortened the uh, cable a fair amount but that's pretty easy, you just uh, take off the uh, brass end cap, cut the cable to length, put it back together, pop the end cap back on, feed it through. Um, I've just put a small plastic box and mounted a switch in for now, it works fine. The uh, The platen and the two pulleys are inside that box section and take up the slack and keep it aligned. I use two T-handles that I made which um, push towards the side of the tube that doesn't have the seam so it keeps it nice and flat. Uh, the spring isn't permanently fixed but it doesn't need to be. The um, belt adjustment has a sp small spring on it to stop it from losing its adjustment. And the pulleys, uh, what I made in that other video that I've got up on how to make pulleys using uh, the big cast iron casters, polyurethane cast iron casters. Uh, the thing works really well. I went nuts, um, I have a drink of beer. I went nuts trying to figure out why it wouldn't track properly when I first built it. And basically, what was happening is, let's find that joint. Yeah. The things tend to sort of separate. I don't know if it's, uh, it's not because the tension is too high. I think maybe the speed might be a fraction low and it's just, as you're sharpening chisels or whatever, it's just skipping over that. But as it separates, it loses its integrity as far as um, how well aligned it is. And then it just starts to wobble like crazy. So, like I said, I just kept sitting sitting there trying to align the pulleys and thinking what have I done wrong why won't this track properly you can see it moving now and it was purely because of that you can see there's about a one mil gap already forming on this one there's still plenty of meat left on the belt but I'll have to change it soon um, when the belts are new it tracks beautifully so yeah I'm not sure why that happens but I still suspect that um, it might be a speed issue, so I'm going to put a smaller pulley on the uh, on the drive shaft there, and see what that ha uh, see what effect that has. Here's a close up of the uh, the drive system. It's um, only a half horsepower motor, but I don't think that that's a problem. I only use it for 
minor things, nothing too major. I don't need a huge amount of uh, material removed. If I do, I'd use a grinder. Um, and there's a couple of pillar block bearings there that I've had on the shelf for 20 years or something. I finally got a chance to use them. Um, and there's enough space there, as I said before, for a two-stage pulley. So I'll do that at some point and have a variable or two-speed sort of unit. Um, but aside from that, it's worked out really well. I like it. It's good. The um, tool rest is just a pivoting um, mishmash of bits and pieces I had. What I plan to do is uh, change it so that the, the actual uh, tool rest part is on a slotted mount so you can move it up or down as well as change the angle. It'll make it a lot more useful. Um, that's for later on. As far as operation goes, it works great. Happy with it. So there you go. Uh, the way I um, set it up, the way I worked out where to put the pulleys was just to, uh, as far as dimensions go, I mean, was just to lay it all out on the bench. The, the four different pulleys, the drive pulley, the two pulleys on the uh, on the platen there, and uh, the um, adjustment pulley, and move it around until it kind of looked right and then base the dimensions on that um, and that worked out pretty well. I mean there's enough range of adjustment that you just pull out that shaft and you know you can take up as many inches as you need so it's not critical um, and the whole thing just sits on a bunch of rubber pads not on this bench obviously it's a bit long but it's out of the way the shed's big enough so yeah really happy with it based it on a lot of the helpful videos that are already out there Nothing particularly new in mind except for that drive system, which is pretty handy. But yeah, it's a good tool. It's a good tool to have. Make yourself one. Thanks for watching.